What's up everybody and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. In today's video, I will be unboxing a brand new Glock 19 MOS. So I did get this at my local gun dealer, my local gun shop, and this gun did cost me $630. I got it at a slight discount. I believe it was $670, but got a little bit off because of a 15% discount. So turned out to be 630. And what's funny about this is this is the California compliant, which is why there's three 10 round magazines in this box. Oh, there's a price. It's about 680 brand new, but I did get it for 630. As we can see here, it's Glock 19 Gen 5, nine mil, California compliant. It's got three magazines, 10 rounds each, but I did go and pick up another magazine of 15 rounds, which I already put in here. So I'll show you guys that as well. So of course we have the Glock case, the Glock box, as we all know and love. Let's open it. And so right off the bat, we can see we are met with the notorious Glock essentials and it's kind of nice because it's all there it's not some bag like we see in other you know gun brands but it's not very organized either but hey it's there it is what it is so we have in this plastic baggie the back straps to adjust how we want the beaver tail and the grip angle of the pistol with our hand etc so pull those off to the side and then of course, like I had mentioned, we have 10 round magazines. Here we have this thing. We got one, two, and three. Now the Glock 19s, if it's non-California compliant, will come with a standard 15 round mag. I believe it's two 15 round mags, but let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But I will not need these because I do not live in California. No thank you. 10 rounds, we'll just put them over here. Good stuff. And of course we have the Glock 19 Gen 5. We'll put this over here for now. And of course, if you've ever owned a Glock or bought a Glock before, you get all the basics. Here's the adapter plates, which is really nice that Glock actually gives you this for your MOS, which is awesome. Put that off to the side, we might use that later. And of course, we have some safeguards from Glock, all the manuals, etc., etc. So we'll put this back. And if you want to clean your Glock, Glock does provide you with this set of cleaning tools to clean your Glock. But I will put those away because I don't need those. We'll close it up. All right, put this away. And here it is, you guys. This is the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS. And I gotta say, this is such a good handling Glock. Now, when I was on duty, we did go from Glock 17s to Glock 45s with an optic. And the Glock 45 is essentially a 17 handle with a 19 slide. And I just, I love this feeling of gun. It does feel really good in the hands, even though it's a shorter um, pistol grip, but that's okay. And like I mentioned earlier, I did go ahead and purchase my own Glock 15 round magazine. Well, let's make sure it's cleared and empty, and it is. And just like that, there's a Glock 19 Gen 5. I know a lot of people hold pistols differently, but this is how I hold it. And I gotta say, it does feel really good in the hands which is no wonder why the FBI uses the Glock 19s for their duty carry pistol. And of course, this up here on top of the slide is where the MOS system is. You can mount your optic of choice. I believe we'll probably do that here in a little bit. All right, now let's test that trigger action. Let's release this, put the magazine over here, and let's test that trigger. Okay, we have this amount of take up. We have a little bit of mush, but not too much. Now let's press. Press, there's the wall, and break. Okay, now we'll release, release. There's that tick and that click. There's the mush, the wall, take up, and break. 
one more time. Let's see. Releasing is smooth. Tactile click and coming back up again. A crisp break, which feels really nice. Feels really good in the hands and on the finger. Now, if you wanted to, you could attach a Surefire light. I have a Surefire X300 Ultra. As you saw there, just clipped it on. Very easy to do, not hard at all. And you could use this as an everyday carry, holster it up, conceal it, and it would look pretty good. So not too bad, but we'll take this off for now. And let's attach this optic on here. Or let's start unscrewing this portion of the MOS optic cover. We'll gently remove that, put that off to the side, and it should look like this. You'll take the MOS adapter plate that Glock gave you, place it on there just like that. So once you have your mounting plate on the slide, take the screws that Glock provides, and these screws are what's going to hold your plate on the slide itself. So we're gonna insert those and make sure those are screwed on very well. So we'll find our thread and start screwing in. And just so you guys know, there is already Loctite on these screws. So that is very helpful. And that is pretty tight on there. I don't want to strip the screws, so that's not moving anywhere, and the plate should be aligned with those rear serrations, as you see there. So that is pretty good. The optic that I'm using today is the RMR Trigicon Type 2. Very typical, very reliable optic, uh, and it's going to go on my Glock 19, and I'll probably live there for a little bit, and maybe I'll change it out for some other optics, but that's what I'm using today. So now that we have our optic and our plate mounted, let's just put the optic and just rest it right on top. And I'm using the screws that Trigicon did provide. And I'll just find the thread and slowly thread in both of those. like that, make sure it's nice and tight. Don't over tighten it. And there it is. The Trigicon Type 2 is now mounted on my Glock 19 MOS. Uh, let's turn it on here. Now, as you can see here, what I don't have is my rear and front sights are not co-witnessing. I mean, they kind of are, but they're just buried behind the optic. So that's something I may have to just work on later, but for the most part, I trust this optic. I've shot it quite a bit, and it's very, very reliable. So I'm, I'm okay with, with the optic and the iron sights not co-witnessing, so. And if we add our Surefire X300, that's what it looks like. And if you wanna add, just for fun, an extended magazine, that is what we have. <laughs> So, yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty good everyday carry. I think this will be for sure one of my new uh, everyday carries, or at least in the rotation. It does feel really awesome in the hands. I feel really confident, especially with that RMR Trigicon. I feel confident in it. I probably will run it with something smaller of a light, not the X300. But of course, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below if you carry a Glock 19, Gen 4, Gen 5, MOS, maybe no optic. What do you guys think? And if you've been wanting to buy a Glock 19 Gen 5, would this steer you in that direction? 
yes or no, comment down below. We'd love to know your thoughts. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate all the support. You guys make all of these videos possible. And until then, I'll see you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.